Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a field located in western Kentucky where a 375 engine horsepower John Deere 9330 articulated four-wheel drive tractor is working on fall tillage, subsoiling the ground 16 inches deep with a 17 and a half foot wide 7 shank Case IH Ecolo Till 2500. In this video, I would like to take viewers for a ride in the tractor's cab to visit with the farmer about his tillage operation, as well as sharing this tractor's production history, specifications, and original price tag. But first, let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear this big John Deere tractor at work. I'm up in the cab of a John Deere 9330 articulated four-wheel drive tractor and it's working up some ground here that is in cover crop. It was in corn this past year and it's headed back to corn. It's running a Case IH 2500 inline ripper and this is a low disturbance tillage tool. It's breaking up compaction under the soil but minimal disturbance on the top of the field. By the spring you wouldn't even be able to tell that this ripper has been across the field. It subsoils it, but the cover crop is going to keep on growing over the winter. I'm here with uh, Jake the farmer, and uh, 9330 is one of the classics. It's one of my all time favorite John Deere four wheel drives. Um, it's been a workhorse on your farm for, for many years and hours. Yep. Does a little bit of everything. So we're running just under five miles per hour at 4.9 miles per hour. Um, definitely getting a workout with the subsoiling. What what size ripper do you have on the back? It, uh, pulling a seven shank, 2,500. It's uh, most of the time running, I'd say 14 to, on the low end and 16 inches deep on the high end. Uh, usually six mile an hour is not a problem, but this field here had some tiling done in it back over the previous winter and uh, it's the ground is very hard and it's definitely needing what we're giving it here about four and a half four nine is, uh, is is where she wants it well when you're at 375 horsepower and it's uh, you can definitely hear it working that means that the corn roots would be working all that much harder to oh yeah get moisture and fertilizer next summer yeah and it hopefully help soak in some of these winter rains too it feels i feel like if this ground gets so hard it almost acts like a big parking lot and your ground moisture will run off and it you know the, it can't absorb the winter rains so i feel like breaking all this loose and leaving the residue on top you'll suck in your winter uh, moisture and hold the ground with the residue no erosion so it's a win-win and I imagine the cover crop is nice also using those roots to do yep. some things and it'll hold the soil at the same time. Yep, and it's great to no-till into. Yep. So we're uh, coming up here on the headland and the tractor is on auto steer and that's really helpful for running throughout the day, a little less fatigue. See, they're getting hard right here. Yep. So we 
you see those RPMs jump up. That's when we talk about the increased horsepower for tough fuel conditions. Jake will turn the tractor around. You can see the ripper up there. And now he'll hit the auto guides and it'll take itself out of the turn and right back onto the next pass. So you're also using the auto guidance to skip a pass, um, so your turns are less tight. Yep, it keeps them a little neater, a little straighter. So next spring you'll have, you'll just come here and no-till this. They won't you won't need yep. to work up the ground or smooth it out. No, uh, the plan, you know, everything changes. The plan is to put this tractor here, uh, come in here, plant it in corn, no-till it. We'll drop the row cleaners down a little bit with the heavy residue here, but uh, it's already got the uh, fall fertilizer on we put it in with the with the wheat before we broadcast it and uh, harrowed the cover crop in so we get this thing ripped it'll be sitting on go other you know that's good you use a kelly diamond harrow just to yep. kind of chop up these stalks help break them down and yep. incorporate the uh, yep. the seed yeah just mix it all in and cover up that seed it, uh, it's come up for what we feel like pretty well Looks good. Well, thanks a lot for the ride and the visit here. I'm, Absolutely. Uh, seeing a little bit of fall tillage. Yep. Sounds good. The 9330 is part of the 9030 series that was introduced by John Deere in the fall of 2007 and new for model year 2008. The tractors were produced at the company's Waterloo, Iowa tractor factory through model year 2011. The 9030 series of articulated tractors from John Deere included five different models that range from 325 horsepower to 530 horsepower. The power breakdowns include the Model 9230 at 325 horsepower, the 9330 at 375 horsepower, the 9430 at 425 horsepower, the 9530 at 475 horsepower, and the 9630 at 530 horsepower. The 9330 is powered by a John Deere 13.5 liter 826 cubic inch engine rated at 375 engine horsepower and has a peak horsepower rating of 388 when tough field conditions are encountered. The tractor also has a 320 PTO horsepower rating. The 9330 could be ordered with two different John Deere transmission options. The first was a John Deere PowerSync partial power shift with 24 forward and 6 reverse speeds. The second option was a John Deere power shift transmission with 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. The tractor is equipped with a 350 gallon diesel fuel tank and weighed in from the factory at 34,134 pounds. It can be field weighted up to 44,574 pounds. The original price tag for a John Deere 9330 was $295,530. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field seeing and hearing this John Deere 9330 articulated four-wheel drive tractor subsoiling. I would like to hear in the comment section below this video, if you complete fall tillage on your farm, tell me about the tractor and implement that you're operating. If you have appreciated this presentation, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there's over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional tillage content from the channel, continue to watch for a few more seconds to the end screen for a direct link to two more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.